Anyway, we have a great guest coming up. He's one of our favorites, one of my favorites. I don't know about the rest of these guys. You know him as TV's Frank from Mystery Science Theater 3000. Ooh, Cinematic yeah. Titanic. I think he's doing tomorrow night. Uh, cartoon Dump at the Steve Allen Theater. Give a big round of applause for our friend Frank Conniff. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Keep it going for top story. Come on, what a phenomenal and awesome show. Uh, like my fourth or fifth time, and these people are just amazing uh, that do this show. And um, I really enjoyed the uh, Dick Cheney sketch uh, just now. Um, he had a very touching-go heart transplant, and um, luckily enough, time has passed since uh, since he had the operation that we can laugh about it now. <laughs> it, did, it did happen yesterday. <laughs> Actually, uh, I heard that um, that the uh, Cheney's heart transplant operation was um, complicated by the fact that there was a huge buildup of karma in his bloodstream. <laughs> so, uh, that made it hard, and it would have been uh, tough because um, uh, Andrew Breitbart just died a couple weeks ago. And if Cheney died, to lose two conservative assholes in one month would have been a uh, would have been a horrible tragedy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <a> Breitbart fans. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, in solemn remembrance of Andrew Breitbart, um, all of the Republican um, Republicans in Congress. Uh, tweeted pictures of their penises at half mass. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, uh, and you know, this, um, this horrible uh, tragedy in, uh, in Florida, this kid getting killed, it's, and it's just so awful. And then um, you probably saw that um, Geraldo on Fox News said that it was uh, because of his hoodie that he was killed. He blamed the hoodie for his death, and that was like the stupidest, most racist thing said on Fox News since right before the commercial break. It's really, uh, and now Geraldo's gone farther. Now he's saying that uh, that Lincoln was shot because he was wearing a stovepipe hat. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Thank you, Lincoln. Those are the kind of uh, up-to-date references. Uh, <laughs> Tonight. You know, but you know, to me, the big uh, political news for me um, was the fact that uh, Jeff Foxworthy uh, supported Mitt Romney. Did you know that? Now, um, a lot of my friends were surprised about this. I wasn't because I kind of like got this story before anyone else did because uh, I had seen Jeff Foxworthy perform um, and uh, I noticed the kind of tilt in his, in his act that made me not surprised when he supported one of the Republicans. And, and what I did, this is actually very unethical what I did. Um, I wrote down some of Jeff Foxworthy's jokes that he did, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna do them for you now. Um, for instance, uh, here's one. Uh, you might be a redneck if your only experience with science is your common law wife's crystal meth lab. <laughs> <laughs> you might be a redneck if you're morally opposed to your sister using birth control while you're having sex with her. <laughs> you might be a redneck. <laughs> kind of a theme with him. Uh, you might be a redneck if you have no teeth because you can't afford dental care, yet you're opposed to Obamacare. <laughs> you might be a redneck if uh, every time you go near a farm animal, they use a rape whistle. <laughs> you might be a redneck if, um, while looking at your girlfriend's state-mandated transvaginal ultrasound, <laughs> you ask for a remote so you can change the channel to watch Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> you, 
You might be a redneck if um, no one can hear you when you say Obama is a Muslim because you have a white sheet over your face. <laughs> wow. I would think there'd be sympathy for the... Uh, oh, well, they, they were showing Birth of a Nation over at the Egyptians. So. <laughs> Um, you might be a redneck if the highest grade you've ever gotten is hepatitis C. <laughs> so those are some of the jokes for you. Oh, hey. Hey. hey, maybe I should just do his act. Um, but you know, Republicans are very um, uh, adamant about how decadent um, Los Angeles is and Hollywood. In fact, the storm we're having right now, um, Pat Robertson blamed uh, on the fact that God hates the hunger, hunger Games. Um, <laughs> that would have kicked ass if I'd said it right. But, uh, um, but it is true, though. I mean, I live in a place called uh, the San Fernando Valley. Yes. <laughs> Fellow Valley peeps. Woo. Uh, yeah, Ventura Boulevard. Uh, um, and actually, so this, the valley is the world capital of pornography. It's true, and I actually live across the place from a, uh, across the street from a place called um, Vivid Entertainment, <laughs> makers of some fine porn. And uh, they're very neighborly, though. I went over today and borrowed a cup of jizz. They're really. Uh, <laughs> But uh, I spend a lot of my time on uh, Twitter and Facebook. And uh, you know what I think has been the key to success of uh, Twitter and Facebook has been uh, computers. Uh, <laughs> especially the internet. Because actually Twitter has been around since the 1800s. But um, it only recently got fast. And uh, I actually have some uh, tweets from history. <laughs> Historical figures who've, who've tweeted uh, here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and here I'm going to really sell this bit by going like this. Oh, so I you must really be reading tweets from history. Like, uh, for instance, uh, here's one uh, from Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, just charged up San Juan Hill. Winning. <laughs> You know, some tweets are very surprising because, like, I'm fascinated by writers' tweets because I fancy myself a writer. And I've always considered Oscar Wilde to be one of the wittiest, most erudite writers of all time. That's why I was a little surprised by his tweet. Uh, Ooh, we, I sure do loves me the taste of cock. And then, not... <laughs> and then other writers' tweets are surp uh, surprising too, like uh, James Joyce um, just finished writing Finnegan's Wake. Nailed it. <laughs> now it's time to work on my Fibber McGee and Molly Speck script. <laughs> okay, that was for the old people in the audience. Uh, and, uh, well, here's a tweet uh, actually from, uh, from Anne Frank. Uh, now wait till I read it to you, Boomy. Let me read it then, Boomy. This is actually one of her most famous uh, quotes that actually started as a tweet. Uh, Deep down, all in all, I still think people are basically good at heart. And then she has hashtag sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have been really great. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.